Hello everyone, welcome to the next edition of Take 5. Started a series that I'm hoping it will be not only a little out of the box, but helpful biblically and even spiritually, calling it Speaking Words of Wisdom. Not necessarily the book of Proverbs or Ecclesiastes, but actually taking lyrics and song titles from the Beatles, of all things, John, Paul, George, and Ringo, um, and building the bridge to eternal truth, to scripture, to following Christ. And most of the songs that I'll be doing, we'll do, we'll do several of them still. Um, most people know some of them, I think. Once in a while, I'll choose an obscure one, including this one. On the Beatles' last recorded album, which was Abbey Road, they recorded it in the summer of 1969, there was a, you know some songs from that album probably, Here Comes the Sun, um, Something, Come Together, but there's a whole bunch of songs you may not, not ever have heard unless you're a big Beatle fan. There's one song, it's a really brief one on the second side of the LP, and it's called Carry That Weight. Yeah, and the refrain of the song, there's not many lyrics of it, but they keep saying over and over again, boy, you're going to carry that weight for a long time. And to be honest with you, I know a lot about Beatles history and trivia and all that kind of stuff. I have no idea what they're singing about. McCartney wrote the song, might be talking about the weight of carrying the Beatles' name. They're going to break up soon. I don't know. But they, I, I just want to take the concept, boy, you're going to carry that weight for a long time. And think about your own life. So much of life is carrying a burden, carrying the heavy weight, um, whether it's the weight of guilt or the weight of religion, or the weight of, of bitterness, of not forgiving somebody, or the... You know, anyway, Scripture also talks a lot about carrying weight. Um, the weight of religion. Matthew 23, Jesus is talking to his disciples, and he's referring to the religious leaders of that day. And I want you to hear what Jesus says regarding carrying the weight of religion. He says this, Matthew 23, first few verses. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples. The scribes and the Pharisees are seated in the chair of Moses. In other words, the teachers and the religious leaders, they're sitting in the, in the chair of Moses. They are the ones um, distributing the, the, the Bible, the law of Moses. Okay, So do whatever they tell you and observe it. So when you hear from the law of Moses, do it. When you hear the scriptures, apply it. Okay. However, verse 3, um, do whatever they tell you and observe it, but don't do what they do because they don't practice what they teach. Wow, what, a, what an indictment on teachers. They, however, they, t they tie up heavy loads that are hard to carry and put them on people's shoulders but they themselves aren't willing to lift a finger to move them. In other words, these people are teaching the law of Moses. They're teaching the scriptures, but they're just piling on extra burden, extra weight, extra religious rules, and all kinds of stuff that nobody can carry. They put them on people's shoulders. And that's sometimes what religion does. It's a, it's a heavy burden put on people's shoulders. You can't lift it extra rules, legalism, all of that stuff. Boy, you're going to carry that weight a long time if you're trying to please God and obey a religion that has extra stuff beyond what the, what the faith of the scriptures actually teach. Boy, you're going to carry that weight a long time. Can I just tell you, let it go. Experience the freedom in Christ the freedom in Christ. Once you're in Christ, you are indwelt with the Holy Spirit and you now have the heart and the power to live the way God wants you to live, which includes obeying the scriptures. It doesn't include all of that extra weight, all of those extra rules that religion brings. If you're carrying the heavy load of guilt, um, let it go. Give that to Christ. Christ died on the, on the cross for your sins that you may be free of your guilt. And then on a regular basis, we're told to confess our sins and God is faithful and just, will forgive us our sins and will cleanse us from unrighteousness or, or guilt. Let the, let the weight of guilt go. 
or maybe the maybe you're carrying the weight of the burden of of unforgiveness or of bitterness uh, let it go let Christ teach you how to forgive by forgiving you and then therefore forgiving others as well uh, maybe you're just carrying the weight of life and anxiety and maybe you've been carrying it a long time the apostle peter would write cast all your anxieties on christ because he cares for you i don't know what weight you're carrying this uh, today and maybe you've been carrying it a long time let christ be your burden barrier for your faith for your salvation for your forgiveness for your anxiety don't carry that weight a long time. Give it to Christ. I'll see you next week as we continue our series, Speaking Words of Wisdom.